Both of my grandfather were tobacco growers. On one side, he was a tenant farmer. My mother's side, rather. On my father's side, he he owned his own farm. Or they say was one of the first ones to cultivate tobacco with a tractor in the neighborhood. We are still farming that land now. It's been in, in a family for four generations. I had my first crop in 1986. Actually filed a tax return. That's the same year I was off at state and majored in crop science and agribusiness management. From state, I went to Soil Conservation Service. <laughs> worked, worked two years with Soil Conservation doing an 85 farm bill with all the farm plans. Actually, I worked two and a half, three years. The farm plans we created were pretty much a tobacco, wheat, soybean rotation. We basically could handle most everything in a two-year rotation. Sometimes we had to go to a three-year rotation and sometimes we had to add fescue in that small grain. Most of the farms here, they had enough land to rotate. So that wasn't a big issue. They didn't like it. You know, people always hear their tobacco land, they like to say, and they like to plant their tobacco on their tobacco land. They saw later on that it did help and did save a lot of soil from moving off. We plant no-till. Behind the backer, we have to plant conventional. I plant wheat and our no-till beans, and then our, that land will go into backer next year. The waterways were, were already there, but I was able to apply to, to refix my waterways, and you know, it was a big, big help. You know, some years, it's really hard because we're so late getting the back out to get those waterways established. That's been a great program. The problem now, we have very few contractors to cut waterways. So, you know, that's, that puts it on me. I do have a pan that I can, but it takes a long time with my equipment versus having a contractor in to do it. I grow tobacco, wheat, soybeans, about 10 cows, and we do grow hogs. Typically our season, harvest season's July 15th till October 15th. We might, we might drag over a week or two, all depending on the year far as pests. No, that has not been a problem for me. And I, I think rotation helps with, with pests. I would really like to get to a three-year rotation. Tobacco my first year, wheat, possibly grass, and then put no-till beans in it the next year. All my irrigation I pod, I've got one bit creek that I can irrigate out of. We have two traveler guns and we have stationary guns also. And that's been my limitation on rotation because I don't have enough irrigated acres to primary grow my tobacco. And you know, tobacco is one of those things we, we typically irrigate. Well, as far as the farm, I, I, would, I would like to venture out some in some vegetables. I'd like to be able to reduce some of these far off farms and sort of concentrate things a little closer. And that's why I'm thinking about, you know, venturing off in the, the vegetable line. Like I say, nothing big, but not, we ain't gonna have it big as we used to. Just looking, looking to be here a while or see the girls grow up now.